On this episode of Hackbyte, I'm going to show you how you can get started with some basic data visualization and use a Python tool that I wrote in order to map and plot nearby Wi-Fi devices. Warp driving is a process that allows us to geolocate nearby Wi-Fi devices by combining Wi-Fi data with a physical GPS location while moving by in something like a car. Now, while this automatic data capturing process is pretty easy, being able to make sense of and visualize this data poses its own problem. Today, we're gonna solve this by using a Python utility I wrote in order to visualize our data capture by plotting out Wi-Fi devices on top of a Folium map. To follow along with today's video, all you're gonna need is access to a Google account to use the collaboratory website, and also a Wargiving data set, which you can find on our GitHub repository linked in the video description below. Once you have these things, we can begin. Both the code demonstration and the dataset we're using for this video can be found on my GitHub at github.com slash alexlin slash ESP8266 wardriving. So under Jupyter Notebook scripts, you can find the script we're using, which I'm gonna open in a new tab on the Google Collab website. Now, the first step before we get started with this script is to just upload the dataset that we're gonna be working with, which you can do by clicking on this folder icon here and hitting the upload button to select the file you have saved locally. Now we're gonna be running with a capture file that I have from a previous war driving session, which is actually this Warflight CSV file, which I obtained from a war flying proof of concept that I did with the ESP8266. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this in Google Collab. And as you can see, our file has uploaded to our runtime session. Now the next step is to get started with visualizing this data. And we're gonna do this by first converting the CSV file into something that's a little more readable and parsable through Python. So we're gonna be doing this by using a library called pandas, which is super useful for basically parsing through and sorting through a whole bunch of data. And we're gonna be creating a specific data type called a pandas data frame, which allows us to run functions from the pandas library directly. So I'm gonna start by running this code cell, which should import the pandas library and also create a data frame containing all of the data within the CSV file we just imported. So after running this code cell, um, you can see that Jupyter Notebook renders out this whole HTML data table containing all of the data entries from our CSV file. So you can see it comes in at a little over 5,200 entries, but it was truncated by Jupyter Notebook since that would be a pretty extensive thing to print out on this whole web page. But just by running WD, Jupyter Notebook interprets this as a data type to be printed and rendered out which is an obvious benefit if we want to start visualizing our data as we can see here. So taking a look at the structure of the CSV file we're dealing with, um, you can see in the header, the different data types that are contained in this file. So for instance, we have the MAC address, the SSID, which would be like the network name. Um, we have the encryption type, the time each network was seen at and GPS location, as well as a bunch of other data. So this is gonna be very useful when we start to plot this out on a map. And if we want to look for specific attributes like um, the encryption type to look for unsecured networks, or if we want to spot specific devices just based off their MAC address. So scrolling down to the next code cell, you can see that I've imported this library Folium, which is gonna help us map out our Warjack route. So I've imported this submodules map and marker, which will help us not only plot out our actual Warjack path, but also overlay some annotations that show us basically where each network device was spotted along the path. So down here, I have manually selected the location that I want to zoom in on where we conducted our war driving test, which I grabbed just from a random GPS coordinate in our capture file. And I set the zoom level at something that would let us get an overview of our war driving area. So after that, um, I use this polyline function that comes from the Folium library that allows us to overlay basically the exact path that we traveled by drawing a line between every single GPS point that was entered within our capture file. So after that, I use a for loop to just iterate over the aforementioned data set, which is this pandas data frame we have above. And it basically looks at all of the 5,293 data entries we have and overlays them on a map using this folium mapper function. So what this does is it'll grab both the latitude and longitude from our Panda data frame. And it's gonna create this little marker here with a Wi-Fi icon that also puts in the SSID of the corresponding network that we've detected. 
So if I click on any of these icons, you can see the network names pop up, showing us the corresponding networks that we've detected on our wargiving path. So if I wanted to do something a little more targeted, like look for every single time a certain network was detected, looking through all 5,000 entries that are within this data file by hand, just by clicking on all of these icons would be just a little bit extensive since we have all these clusters of data to look through. So thanks to the pandas library that I talked about before, we can use some built-in functions in order to sort through the data that we captured. And this will make it a lot easier to look for certain Wi-Fi anomalies, Wi-Fi devices, or other information that you want to basically filter out. So scrolling down to the next code cell, I'm gonna show you how we can target a very specific network that was spotted along our path. So here you can see I have already set up the cell to detect a very specific network, which is Bingus Mobile. And actually when we were conducting our war flying reconnaissance, I set up this network specifically as a target network. So that way it would be really easy to have one that we could pinpoint and look out for. So I've started here by creating a new data frame, which is WD2. And using the locate function from pandas, I've basically honed in on all variable types for SSID that correspond to the value Bingus Mobile. So what it does is it'll combine this all into one big list, which is gonna be this um, WD2 data frame. And it's going to overlay this directly on top of our map of the previous networks, except it's going to annotate it in red, which I've done by changing this foliant marker. So here you can see I've also denoted that it prints out a different icon type and also different color just by simply changing the parameters of this function. Now, if you want more details on how you can use uh, various function calls from Folium, you can check out the API documentation directly from their website and also the API reference from Pandas if you want to look at more ways you can sort through this data. But in upcoming videos, I'll show you some more advanced techniques and more ways that you can sort through war driving data so that way you can get a better visual gauge of specific information that you're trying to look out for. In upcoming episodes, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own war driving rig for under $15 with the ESP8266, and also how you can do some more advanced Wi-Fi reconnaissance techniques, such as detecting if someone's following you just by looking for the presence of their cell phone over Wi-Fi. If you enjoyed today's video and have any questions or other topics you wanna to see covered on this channel, feel free to let us know in the comments below or reach out to me on Twitter at AlexLand. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Hack5. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.